Today we'll be showing you the latest Windows 10 update problems and how to fix them. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. You think that someone at Microsoft HQ would have made it an explicit resolution to get 2020 off to a good start when it comes to Windows 10 updates. Clearly someone didn't get the memo as the year has started off with a major update bug, as well as lingering issues from previous updates. Thankfully, there are workarounds or outright fixes to many of these. So we've decided to keep a monthly feed of the biggest problems blighting the Windows 10 update process and how to fix them. On the bright side, Bleeping Computer reported on the 9th of January that drivers pending approval will no longer be released concurrently with Windows 10 updates as misbehaving drivers are thought to be the cause behind many faulty Windows 10 updates. This will hopefully decrease the number of update problems in 2020. Here's hoping. The latest Windows 10 update, KB455699, is meant to improve the stability for the latest versions of Windows 10, version 1903 and 1909. While it does that for most users, it also doubles as a who's who of Windows update problems for some, including a blue screen of death, white flickers, changing to system fonts, and audio problems. Based on the number of problems it causes, this update is one of the worst Windows 10 updates to date. Thankfully, Microsoft has made it easier to uninstall Windows 10 updates, and this problem can be fixed by doing that. We're going to be looking at pointers on how to uninstall Windows updates. In one of the most disastrous Windows 10 updates yet, an update released in mid-April has been causing all kinds of catastrophic mischief. Users have been reporting deleted files that were saved on the system drive and deleted apps from the Microsoft Store. Now some of these files apparently end up in the recycle bin, so it's vital that you check to see if your files are there before emptying the bin. The blue screen of death errors associated with this update occur more frequently for some people than others with some reporting occasional crashes while others getting them all the time. Microsoft hasn't yet addressed this serious problem, so the best solution for now is to uninstall the update. This optional update, released in late March, has been reported to cause problems for a number of Windows 10 users. Problems range from the update failing to install to crashes of various features and apps on Windows 10. The best way to avoid this problem is by not installing this optional update in the first place, but if you do find yourself stuck with it and experiencing problems, check out our guide on how to roll back Windows 10 updates. Microsoft's Big March update for Windows 10 was mainly designed to improve security on the operating system. Security on Microsoft Edge, external device security and password verification. But as a side effect, it broke internet connectivity for many people using proxies and VPNs, particularly with apps that use the Win HTTP or Win Inlet protocols. So affected apps may include Microsoft Office, Outlook, Office 365, and other popular Microsoft apps. Windows Server users may also experience problems with 32-bit applications. Microsoft is aware of the issue and has promised a fix at some point in April. The optional Windows 10 update, KB4535996, is supposed to improve battery performance and fix various minor issues like Microsoft Narrator and speech recognition. But according to users, it also brings with it a whole host of new problems. Go figure. These problems range from BSOD errors to outright blank screens, so it's safe to say that you should avoid this update at this point. Granted, it's always a minority of users that encounter these issues, but the old saying of, if Windows 10 ain't broke, don't fix it, because that might break it, still applies here. Windows is aware of the problems associated with this update and is working to release a fix by mid-March. Since this video is being released in June, we can assume that this has already happened. Another workaround is that you can try to uninstall the update using our guide linked in the description box below. You can uninstall smaller Windows 10 updates by doing the following. In Windows, go to Settings, Update and Security, View Update History, Uninstall Updates. 
In this window, scroll down to the main pane to the Windows Microsoft heading. You will see all the KB and security updates for Windows 10, along with the dates they were installed. Simply right click the one you want to uninstall and reboot your PC. After every major update, Windows 10 gives you a 10 day window to roll back to a previous version of Windows. It's a useful feature and should give you enough time to judge whether you have a problematic update. Of course this won't recover your files if Windows 10 deletes them, but at least you'll be on a more stable version of the OS. To do this, go to Windows 10 settings, then click update and security, and click recovery. Below reset this PC, you should see the option to go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Click get started, then follow the steps to roll back Windows 10. Again this option is only available for 10 days after a Windows 10 update. Before looking into rolling back and fixing broken Windows 10 updates, you need to check which build of Windows you're currently on, which will confirm which issues are affecting you. To do this, just go to Settings, Update and Security, View Update History. In the new window, click the arrow next to Feature Updates to see the version of Windows that you're currently using, and click Quality Updates to see all the smaller KB updates you've installed. The first thing you can do to avoid getting these update problems and more is to take over the control of when your Windows 10 updates. This way you can hold off getting updates the moment Microsoft rolls them out. Monitor the news for a bit to see if any major errors come up, then manually do the update yourself. Recently, Windows Insiders revealed that an update is coming to Windows 10 which will allow all Windows users to pause updates by up to 7 days. In the meantime, if you're on Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, Education or S, you can postpone updates by going to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update. Here select the option Choose when updates are installed, and click the number of days you'd like to delay it by. There's another way to take control of Windows 10 updates, depending on whether you have the Home or Pro version of the OS. And we have a guide that takes you through disabling and scheduling Windows 10 updates as well, so be sure to check that out. Few things on PC are more frustrating than an update going wrong to improve performance, ruining your system. But unfortunately, Microsoft has form in this respect. Other teething issues with Windows 7 include the Start Menu Search not working and the Windows Store not working too. But we can help you out there too. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button turn the bell on and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.